Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of Amanda Cook's Wellpreneur Planner. So let's check it out and see what's inside. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I do unboxings like today on Saturday. Now, before we do a flip through of this planner, it was about 21, 21, I don't know, for some reason the price seemed to vary on Amazon from day to day. I'm not sure what the theory is behind that, but it was around 21, 23 dollars each time. So this, first of all, when I talk about a planner, I kind of mean like it has calendars and dates. This is more a workbook. So I would say this is probably like 90% workbook and maybe 10% planner because it does have months in it, but you'll see when we do the flip through, the month is undated so that this can be an evergreen planner, which I totally get, but the month is so tiny. I don't know that it's even useful uh, to really let you do any true planning or put any information inside of here. Um, so the other thing too about this planner is I was expecting as a wellness professional to find lots of information and juicy details about the competition, what other people are doing, different areas of wellpreneurship that I could move down into. And quite honestly, this was so generic um, and not generic in a bad way. This could have applied to someone starting a hair care business, someone to starting a vacuum business, a carpet cleaning business, a landscaping business. It doesn't matter. It was, it started out with your typical you know, what's your uh, vision board look like? What kind of content are you going to put out there? And it had, I'm going to go ahead and just say it has 0% to do with being a wellness entrepreneur. Um, so I think that is something that was a huge surprise and something I would also, you know, advise you if you're making a planner for, and I talk about making a planner with a purpose all the time. So a hundred percent, I think planners with their purpose are a great way to go. But anytime you are going to tell people like, this is for you, wellpreneur, or this is for you, landscape artist, or for you, you know, a beauty vlogger, put some industry specific information in there. Talk about your experience, talk about things that are specific to that particular market. Um, and you know, 100%, this did not have any of that in there. So that was a huge, huge miss and a big disappointment. So let's go ahead, flip through, I'll show you what's inside. First thing is, even though it says it's a planner, it's bound, it's self-published, so it is not going to lay flat. That I think is a huge negative for any planner, especially one that you're supposed to write in. Uh, so we have our regular sort of introductory pages over here. We have a table of contents. It's pretty robust. Uh, we have adult coloring pages, I guess if you like doing that, um, how to use this and also a welcome from Amanda. More coloring pages, I guess if you're really into adult coloring books. Um, and then she has a recap of the last year. And I'll try to flip through this a little quicker. Um, and she goes through and asks some questions. She talks about your word for the year. She says you should know your numbers. And then she talks about the shape of your year using this circle and some more questions and some blank space. The wisdom of last year, about more questions about what you learned and what you're grateful for for the year. More coloring, uh, we have the year ahead. Then we have some big dreams and some free writing. We start talking about getting specific with words and again, more words. And then she talks about creating a vision board and we talk about how to make that vision board come alive. Again, more coloring pages um, from dreaming to doing. And then she's talking about how to create an email and an opt-in, uh, how to do promotions, how to nurture and convert people. Again, very generic, nothing at all specific to wellness or anything to do with health or fitness. And she talks about pain points for your ideal client. This is kind of your client avatar section, what products and services you are planning to offer and how you're going to price those and how much money you think you'll make selling those. Then she talks about free content and how to uh, create more content. And she gives you some blank pages. We have some an editorial calendar for what you're going to put out each of the 12 months out of the year. 
And then she has space for action steps. And then we talk about email and call to actions, um, nurturing your email list, and talks about promotion and platform and how you're going to promote it. Blank pages, your second platform. So I guess this could be, you know, one could be Facebook, the second could be Instagram. Again, nothing, I guess I'm gonna repeat this. It's a huge disappointment to me that there was nothing specific about wellness other competitors, what people are doing, best practices. This is super incredibly generic, could apply to any business in the entire world or service or any country or anywhere. So again, she has a new sheet. It's like a rinse and repeat, just talking about your target revenue and what you're going to promote and how you're going to focus on that for those 12 months. Then we have another coloring page. Again, I don't get the coloring pages. Um, I guess she maybe as an adult just really likes coloring. Uh, making it happen. So now we're gonna talk about the weekly schedule. And we have over here, I guess you can flip this over, um, just what your, I guess, personal weekly schedule is going to be and what kind of support you're going to get from the people in your family. And then in case of emergency, who you're going to call um, and a letter to your future you a pledge to show up and take action in your business and for yourself. And then we go into monthly planning. Um, again, another coloring sheet. And the monthly planning has uh, the generic month, so it is evergreen. So you need to fill out the months yourself. And these are really, I don't know if you can see this, it's like barely larger than just my, or it's about my fingertip. So it's really tiny. You're not gonna be able to get a lot of information into these tiny boxes. Um, revenue, promotional focus, key actions, results, insights, wins, some blank pages. And so this kind of rinse and repeats for, I'm gonna guess, 12 months. Um, so we go through that and then we finally get to the very end where she has a congratulations page and blank pages. And then over here, do you want more wellpreneur wisdom? Which really to me just means, do you want some more generic information? Because there was absolutely 100% nothing in here about wellpreneur. I didn't try to hide any pages. Um, picture of Anna Cook and more coloring. If you really wanted a coloring book, I, I'd never seen that in here. I think that's a that's an interesting combination. And then just over here, um, the Wellpreneur Planner is a marketing book, uh, just a description of her book. All right, so let me know if you agreed with me, if this was kind of way too generic for you to even think it could be called a Wellpreneur Planner or should be called a Wellpreneur Planner. I think a better use for this is just how to start a business you know, planner, that's kind of all I would, you know, be comfortable calling this. Um, but let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree. And also, if you are interested in making your own Wellpreneur Planner, because clearly there's a need for this and there is not one out there, um, make sure to sign up for Planner 101 below. That is a free course on how to create your own planner. All right, I hope everyone is having a fabulous Saturday and I will see you guys on Monday. Bye.